All right, today we're going to be looking at the screen management app RPAC. I uh, just want to throw out there, uh, first thing, this is not a sponsored video. Uh, I've not been paid or asked by RPAC um, to create this video. I just wanted to help spread the word out there of the available apps to help you limit screen time or device use for your kids. Um, as you can see on mine, I have two, uh, both my kids I have on um, in, in the app and um, I control both their devices. And as you can see, um, you can create a schedule. Um, you can manually block or grant um, for an unlimited time or 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, all the way up to um, eight hours or until midnight. Um, or you can block the same way, either by hours or you know until midnight or you know until you say so. Um, and then also, as you can see, you have the schedules that you can create. Uh, so this one has a bedtime schedule, so from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. Um, all the apps are shut off, so there's no YouTube, there's no Facebook, there's no, um, there's no apps that can be used. But you can also change what apps are controlled by the schedule. Uh, this is a premium version, um, which I believe is $4.99 a month. Yes, it's $4.99 a month for the uh, premium which gives you the ability to uh, block certain apps, um, create unlimited schedules. And then here you can see the different apps that are installed on the phone that you can control. <clears throat> and with this app, you can control, I believe, just about every app except for the phone. You cannot turn the phone on or off. You cannot block the phone. Um, I know a lot of cell phone carriers, you can do that through them, usually just going on the website or if you have an app with your cell phone carrier, you can uh, block incoming or outgoing calls or block certain numbers. Um, so let's do, uh, let's do Safari, for example. As you can see, there's a green check beside Safari, which means it's allowed anytime, even if the schedule has um, the rest of the apps blocked, it will still allow Safari. Or you can include it in the schedule, which means it'll be blocked by the schedule or you can block it all the time. So even if the uh, apps are turned on um, due to the schedule or you turn them on manually, the Safari app will still be blocked. So if you have an app or something on there that you don't want them to use or they're you know, on restriction or grounded um, and you wanna block their YouTube, but you still want them to be able to use the other apps. So you can just go in there and specifically block that specific app all the time and they will they won't be able to use it even if the schedule allows them to use their apps. Um, so for hers, I just usually keep it always allowed. Um, so go back into um, this, uh, the time allowance, the screen allowance. You can choose how many hours a day that they use the app or use, uh, use the screen time that their, la their apps will be turned on. And then, so we'll go over to my son's and show you what it looks like on their phone. And you see right here I have his phone pulled up. And this is what it looks like when those apps are turned on. So if you, if you hit block, and we'll do until I say so, on his phones, all the apps that are blocked will go will disappear. So you have no access to them, as you can see. So these are the apps that he has that I have turned on um, all the time. So Spotify, he's allowed to listen to music whenever. If he wants to listen to music to go to bed or while he's doing his homework, he can listen to, to music. So that allow that app to be on all the time. Now, if I go to Grant his apps will come back come back on. So now his apps are turned back on. And then also on the time allowance, you'll get this screen which says he has uh, free time until the end of the day because I have it on grant. But if I put it on schedule, 
it's going to be blocked because it's um, school. It's on the school schedule right now. So if I turn school schedule off, now his his time is paused on his phone, as you can see right here. So it says uh, he has an hour and twenty nine minutes of two hours left. So if he wants to use any of those two hours. Then he'll hit play. And then once he hits play, you can see that the little pause sign is up there in the sun. So that means his apps are available. Now when he's done, he can hit pause to stop his time. And once it's paused, his apps are no longer available. So if you set time limits of how much they can use their device, then they can go in there and, and turn on that time limit and then turn it off to save the time. Um, so this is available for iOS and Android. You can also use it for iPads. Um, I can, I, I, I'm in love with it. I have no, uh, no complaints with it. You will have to download a certificate on the child's device to allow the app to control their phone. And um, you can see that right here under device management, the device system profile it's very simple to, to download and install. Um, once you download the app, the, uh, the first time and get logged in, um, it pretty much walks you through everything, tells you what to do, how to do it. But like I said, it's very simple. You just um, download the profile. It will walk you through step by step on what you need to do. Um, but you can have um, as many, many devices uh, on here to control you have um, pretty much complete control it also has family locator um, so you can see you know where the device is but as you know if you have an iPhone you have find my iPhone so that works just as well so I don't really use that too much but as far as the scheduling when you uh, when you want to allow them to use their device um, you can create that you can edit it you can do you know edit the start time end time days of the week um, you can also recruit uh, reoccurring recurring weekly um, if you wanted to change every week or uh, repeat every week um, again just the uh, specific apps that you want to either block completely you know all the time or have it blocked by the schedule or to allow it all the time uh, each app that's installed on their phone or their device you can um, you can manually uh, schedule uh, like I said the only app or the only uh, function or feature that you cannot control is the phone through this device. And I believe that's you know a safety feature um, designed by Apple to where you can't you can't really do anything with the phone. So that way, if the apps are turned off and they're you know out and about or they're at school and something happens, you know they still have their phone to be able to call whoever they need to call, regardless if the apps um, are turned off or they're in the uh, the scheduled time where their apps are not available. So that's pretty much it. That's just a uh, quick overview and a demo of our pack. Like I said, this is not a sponsored video. Um, I just uh, really enjoy this app. It makes life a little bit easier um, You know, when, when it comes time to uh, how much they should be on their device or if their device is distracting them from homework or chores or you know, if they get in trouble and you know, they wanna sneak off and get their phone even though you know, they're not supposed to. This will give you uh, just about complete control at any time, you know, with your at their fingertips uh, of their device. So, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment below. Uh, but other than that, I will see you in the next video.